here is my Heathkit GR81 regenerative receiver. It's a regenerative, unlike my super heterodyne radios that I have, my other ones, which are super heterodynes or SDRs. I've got some SDRs too, direct sampling. Here is, so it's got, goes to 18 megahertz from 150 kilohertz. In the back, it's got three tubes, one, two, and three. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn it on. How this works, I have to attach my antenna. Hang on. There we go. How this works is that. Oh, wait, let me just turn it on. There we go. So how this works is that you adjust this for the frequency. Then you adjust the regeneration control for just how level you want, how, what level you want it. So now, now we're receiving AM. And you can adjust that to like regen regenerate the radio signal more. More or less, it like regenerates it and then regenerates it again in a loop. So it's like a feedback. So, and then here's the volume. So that's, so it works with AM and it also works with SSB. It's also got fine tuning. So how you would use this for SSB is that you would tune to a station. Here's Radio Romania International. That's their interval signal. So if you wanted to go to SSB, this is just an AM right now, you would turn this up so it's regenerating and it's making that louder. And now you will hear the buzzing get louder. And let me turn down the volume. You Once you hear the buzzing get louder, like it like suddenly jumps up the buzzing and like this noise in the background. And once, you, once that does it, it's regenerating so much that it's making an audio tone and it's basically like making its own signal at the frequency of that. Sort of. That's how I think it works. I think. Something like that. But once it gets to that level, that means it's like starting to generate its own like... It will, it will then like have the difference and then you'll be able to hear the carrier wave. And it'll be... A, you can also listen to SSB signals like that because it's basically generating its own carrier wave. So here... That's the carrier wave. And if I want to listen to SSB, here I am at some 80 meter SSB. And you can't hear it because it's all glitchy and distorted. Because it's, it's not an SSB. It's an SSB and this is an AM. So now we turn the regeneration up. And now we tune it. My phone's generating interference and stuff. Wait, let's see if we can find a better one. This thing gets overloaded sort of easily. I don't know. I'm not very good at it yet. I just learned how to use this thing. I figured it out. It's not too different from Super Editing Radios. This RTTY is always just above 80 meters. I don't know what it is. I live in New England, Connecticut. All right, there's so much interference and stuff. Wait. Here we go.
Yeah, see, that's sort of overloading it. That's very strong, so I can turn it up a little bit. Because it's like the generated carrier wave that it, like, generates, as I suppose, it's less than the signal. So once it gets less than the signal, then it just sort of, then it, the signal just swamps it. It just doesn't work anymore, you know, because they're just too small to, like, make it work. So in relative, like, relatively, so... But yeah, it works, and you, I can. It's not very great for SSB, but it does work. So while like, so it's fun to use, certainly, and it's great because it's useful. So it's a fun radio. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little radio, a Heathkit GR81, and it's got this fun little red light bulb, not an LED, but it's like a little, but it's a little light bulb with a with a red thing over it. So that's nice. So it makes it look fun. It's the only light on the radio. <laughs> so, well, that's the radio. Uh, I'll see you next time. KC1NZO, 73.